everyone. Today we will be doing a winter barbecue and we will be preparing some hamburgers. So we're going to make our hamburgers from scratch, which we have gotten some ground beef. We got extra lean. So we're going to start off with our beef and we're going to put some red onion. So we chop up some red onion into the, the beef. Now you could also use regular onion. Um, I'm also going to be putting some mushrooms and some minced garlic. Sometimes we just do just the basic ground beef. We don't put anything in it, maybe a bit of salt. But uh, this time I'm going to put a mixture of, of the onions. And I'm going to now chop up my mushroom. This just adds a bit of variety and flavor into the hamburger. And right now we are experiencing snow. So even though we have snow, we enjoy doing the barbecues in the winter. Uh, most people just enjoy it in the summer, but we do our barbecues all year round. So once I have my mushroom nicely fine and chopped up, try to keep the sizes of the mushroom and the onions around the same size so that they can cook evenly. So that's how it would look for the mushrooms. Sometimes we could put some cheese in there, but we're going to be garnishing later once our burgers are cooked. We're going to be putting sliced cheese versus, um, we could put grated cheese in there, but we're not going to do it this time. So I'm going to put some minced garlic. I'm going to put some ground pepper. Now some other options we can do is we could put some an egg in there, breadcrumbs. So we're going to first see how this comes up once I mix it and then I'll see if the texture is mold. If it can mold, then I don't need to add anything else. But then if it's too either watery, then I would put some breadcrumbs. If it's too dry, then I can put the egg instead. Um, I'm going to put a bit of barbecue sauce as well because it's going to add Again, it helps with the texture, but it also gives that nice barbecue flavor as well. Now we have two styles of barbecues. We have a gas barbecue and we have charcoal, but we prefer charcoal. We love the flavor of it. Uh, we also used to have a smoke barbecue, but it does take a longer time to cook, which we don't mind, but we prefer our charcoal over the other options. So now that we have all of the ingredients nicely mixed, you want your hamburger meat and the ingredients that we put inside to be nicely and easy to mold so that when they're cooking, they don't um, fall apart. So now I'm going to break it up into four pieces as we're making four burgers. Now you can make them larger. We're going to make them a small medium size because our buns are a little smaller this time. So we're just going to flatten them a bit, put them down on the plate. So they're a good portion size. I make them a little thinner so that they cook all the way through. I know sometimes um, when you make them too thick, they the insides are a bit raw, so having them that width is easier to cook. So then there we have four burgers. So there we go. We have four good portion hamburgers. And I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I don't usually cook with a lot of salt just because uh, there is family history uh, with my family that uh, salt is, is just, our bodies just do not... Um, do well with eating a lot of salt. So I tried to avoid it because of that. And so I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt on top of these patties. And then now they're ready to go into the barbecue. 
So now that we have our barbecue, we clean our grill and the charcoal has been burning for a while, we're now ready to put our burgers on. So it has a nice sizzle, which is perfect. It's ready to cook. So we're going to let those cook for a while on one side so that when we flip it, it doesn't break open. So now that we have our burgers on the barbecue, we're going to let them cook until they're ready. And while those are cooking, I'm going to be preparing some side dishes that can go well with the burgers. So we are going to do some yams. So what I've done is I cut them in half and I wash them, I soak them. And then I'm just gonna wrap them in some tin foil and we're gonna bake those on the barbecue with the burgers. We can also, uh, once they're complete, we're gonna uh, eat them with some sour cream, which is quite lovely. So it's, instead of a baked potato, it's a baked yam instead. So we're just gonna break apart four pieces of tin foil and we're just going to wrap wrap our yams inside there so they can bake nicely inside. Now you can also put spices if you'd like. I'm just gonna keep them simple and they're gonna bake inside. I'm gonna puncture a couple of holes so they're like little steamers and they will steam nicely and, and cook inside of the, the tin foil on top of the barbecue. And then the other side dish that I'll be making is I've cut up some zucchini and then I'm just going to pan fry that with some spices and put that off to the side. So now we put our yams onto the barbecue because the heat is quite nice and our burgers are now cooking. So we're gonna wait until they have a nice kind of burnt looking marks on them but not burnt so that we know that it's nicely crisp and cooked fully inside. Once the burgers are complete, we'll take them off and then we'll, we'll cover our barbecue and let the yams steam more. So now that we've had our burgers and our yams cooking on the barbecue for a while, I believe they're done now, but we'll double check. Wow, they smell wonderful. So they do have the charcoal uh, grill marks on the burger the way I like them. So they are now ready to go inside and then we will show you how we will um, garnish them with the toppings. And then our yams, they're, they're quite soft now so that's how we know they're ready. And then we're going to also show you how we're going to plate them with our burgers. So now our barbecue is complete. Our burgers and our side dishes are completely cooked. So our burgers, we said earlier that we'd make them around a small size. So this is how they came out. So we made them to cheeseburgers, which is quite fun. So I like Swiss cheese, so I put Swiss cheese on mine and my husband prefers a cheddar cheese. So we just put a nice piece of cheese on top. And then I've cut a mixture of garnishes. I have some tomato, some lettuce, and cucumber. I also have some relish, mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise. So it's whatever you choose that you like. Uh, the only time I eat tomatoes really is uh, on my burger, but I don't usually eat them other than when they're cooked. And so you can choose whatever sides you prefer. And then for the side dishes, we baked, we baked the yams inside the tin foil like little steamers on top of the barbecue. So as you can see, they're, they're nicely cooked, they're steaming, which is a nice side dish. And I decided to cook my zucchini as well as a little steamer on top of the barbecue since it was already heated up and hot. So what I've done is I've just put some, I cut my zucchini up and I put some olive oil, some pepper and some dried basil. So we have that as well 
as our side. Some of that onto our plate. It's nicely cooked. It's not mushy, and it's uh, it's nice and firm the way zucchini should be cooked. So we have those side dishes, and then on top of our yams, we have some sour cream. You can also just leave it the way it is with a bit of spices, or you can put um, some pepper, butter. It's all up to you and your preference. I'm going to put a bit of sour cream. Just on the top. And there we go. All ready. So, if you like this recipe and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to our page. Share it, like it, and hit that notification button. If you want to share what you like in your burgers, please leave it down in our comment section. Thank you.